What's happening guys, Safety Liner C2 here, bus stuff for sale, there's four buses that I want to show off. Don't forget that if you have something that you want to submit for lots of lots, bus stuff for sale, the picture videos, or any one of my videos in general, you can throw it in the video request form found in the description of any one of my videos. Alright, let's take a look at this 1990 Thomas School Bus that has a current bid of just over $1,000 in California. The description says, 1990 Thomas School Bus turns on and runs well. Drove over 100 miles recently with no issues. The bus may need new batteries. It has a Cummins engine and almost 533,000 miles on it. Here is a look at the bus. Pretty classic California bus. And if you take a look right next to the route changer, we can see why the mileage is so high. This is a West Coast ER. From my understanding, the West Coast ERs were just heavier duty versions of the ERs that Thomas built to compete with Crown and Gillig. And they were supposed to be cheaper than the other two options so that more people would come to Thomas. Anyways, classic California bus, white roof, yellow rims, four ways on the bus, rear stop sign, side emergency door, there's under storage on both sides. It looks like we are missing the left reverse light. And I gotta say, I understand why they would make stop when red lights flash big and bold, but Man, that's just big and bold. You can also see on the roof that there's a pretty big dent next to that passenger side warning light and some scratches going further down. Here's a couple different shots of the Cummins engine that looks to be in good condition. The back of the bus looking to the front of the bus, we have blue seats in there and all of them appear to be in pretty good condition overall. And finally, we can see the odometer with 532,000 miles on it. Just over a thousand bucks if all that needs is new batteries that's an absolute steal right there. Like I said, those West Coast ERs are definitely heavier duty, so this bus should still have a lot of life left in it. The next one we're taking a look at is a 2014 Chevy Express that has a current bid of $500 in Warren, New Jersey. The description says it has a 6 liter V8 engine. It's a 16 passenger bus with 118,874 miles. Here's a look at the bus. It is a VanCon Chevy, and I'm just showing this off because I don't normally see many van cons for sale. It appears that there might have been a crossing gate on there at some point that was removed. Not exactly sure. And the roof cap looks like a mix between a older Collins and a Bluebird. I don't know why. That's just what I'm seeing here. It is a handicapped bus. You can see there's a wheelchair lift in the back. And we have full LED around the bus. And just a real quick side note, the back of these buses look kind of weird to me. I don't know what it is, just I think the spacing between all the tail lights. The inside of the bus looks to be in pretty good condition. We can see that there's a couple spots for some wheelchair students and seat belts on the other seats. And a quick look at a standard Chevy Dash with 118,000 miles on it. Like I said, I normally don't see a whole lot of those. I don't think they're supposed to be like the most reliable bus. But for $500 as of right now with a week and a half left, it apparently does run and drive. If it stays low, I mean... Hey, that's not a bad bus. The next bus we're taking a look at is a 2007 Chevy Express with a current bid of $1,247 in Mason, Texas. The description says it's a 20 passenger bus that starts, runs, and drives. The back AC works, but the front AC does not. It has hit many deer and hogs, so that means that there's a lot of dents on there. The tires are okay. The oil was changed every 3,000 miles, and it has 214,000 miles on it. Here's a look at the bus, and I guess with you know, hitting so many deer and hogs they put a cattle guard on the front. I looked around on Street View and didn't see any other buses with them, so maybe this was just the bad luck bus. Nothing too crazy here, you know, pretty standard mid-bus Chevy. You can see below school bus is where the vents are for the AC. The tail lights are LED and warning lights are incandescent. Here's a look at the inside of the bus. You can see there's a hole in one of the seats. You know, that's not a hard fix. And turning around, we can see what appears to be a couple seat belts on the floor as well as that AC unit in the back. That bus still has a week left, so I'm sure that the price is going to increase. Nothing too crazy about this bus. Let's move on to the next one. The last one we are taking a look at is a 1992 Ford Econoline van listed for $8,000 in Springfield, Oregon. The description says 1992 Wayne Ford E350 7.3 liter V8 diesel. It has LED headlights, a tow hitch, CB and PA with tinted windows. So here's a rare bus. 
This is a 1992 Wayne Ford Chaperone. There were not many chaperones made on this specific chassis. I only know of a couple of them, so seeing one listed is awesome. You can see the LED headlights on there and extra LED turn signals. We have LED tail lights with incandescent reverse and warning lights. You can also see the tow hitch on the bottom. Here's a look coming up to the bus. Pretty standard Wayne right here. And the other side shows that the stop sign has been removed. Notice that we have the Wayne W logo on there. I believe that this is the last year that they used it. And speaking of that roof logo, they just put it so far up, it kind of seems off to me. And take a look at the logo to the left of the door. It appears that at one point there may have been a route changer covering up that logo. The odometer says that there's 227,000 miles on it. Unfortunately, as you can see, this is now a schoolie. There's a bed in the back. There's also a little sink area right here. And a look at the door from the driver's seat. You know, for it being such a rare bus, it's unfortunate to to see it turned into a schoolie but this is also not like a complete schoolie like they didn't tear everything apart and there's not a whole lot in there eight thousand bucks is pretty high i mean for someone who wants to buy it as a schoolie there's not a whole lot of room to work with there and for a bus enthusiast although the conversion has started it's not like a complete renovation either way that's a higher price i want to know how well it runs and drives and see more pictures of the overall condition of it anyways those are the buses that i wanted to show off and as always let me know in the comments below if you have the time money resources to get one of these buses and do whatever you want with it which one would it be for me it would definitely be the wayne chaperone like i said those are pretty rare buses and don't come up that often and it's not too far gone as a schoolie yet i would also be okay with that west coast dr especially if the bid stays low anyways let me know your answer in the comments below and don't forget that if you have something you want to submit for lots of lots bus stuff for sale the picture videos or any one of my videos in general you can throw it in the video request form found in the description of any one of my videos but with that that's going to do it for this video guys thank you so much for watching i always do appreciate it make sure you subscribe right down here it's a magical white button that says you are now subscribed to safety liner c2 make sure you comment up here down here over here or over here i don't know where they put it down in where they put it make sure you also give this video a thumbs up or molly is going to come and smack you because you didn't like the video and make sure you also share this video with a friend, show it to your mom, show it to your dad, show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care. Don't let anything happen to you. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching.